John 15. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. John 15. You'll have to put up with the roosters. They're competing for attention out there. Greater love. Just days before Holy Week, when Christians around the world remember Jesus' Jesus's sacrifice and celebrate his resurrection, a terrorist stormed into a supermarket in southwest France, opening fire and killing two. After negotiation, the terrorist released all but one hostage, whom he turned into a human shield. Knowing the danger, police officer, our police officer Arnaud Beltrame did the unthinkable. He volunteered to take the woman's place. Hmm. The perpetrator released her, but in the ensuing scuffle, Beltrame was injured and later died. Wow. I know where this is going. A minister who knew the police officer attributed his heroism to his faith in Jesus, pointing to his words in John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Those were the words Chris, Christ, those were the words Christ spoke to his disciples after their last meal together. He told his friends to love each other as I have loved you, and that the greatest love is to lay down one's life for another. This is exactly what Jesus did the next day when he went to the cross to save us from our sin as only he could. He may never be called to follow the heroism of, of I'm sorry, we may never be called to follow the heroism of Arnaud Beltrame, but as we remain in God's love, we can serve others sacrificially, laying down our own plans and desires as we seek to share the story of his great love. Great point. How do you react to stories such as that of Arnaud Beltrame? How can you serve someone sacrificially today? Dear Jesus, you died to give me life everlasting. May I live with gratitude for this gift and share it with those you put in my path. <clears throat> I know a lot of it. it, it this, I have no uh, issue with this one. This is pretty good. Um, but some people take that to mean something else. Um, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Um, I just think you got to be real careful if you're using that. Make sure that what you're talking about, what the intent is. Okay. Um, I mean, could, could you... Um, if you're involved with a group of guys and you have a brotherly love, a brotherhood, but they're up to no good... I don't want to mention any group names, but this group may be up to no good. Or they're not representatives of the faith um, and may be up to no good. Um, but yet they want to hold together as a as a brotherhood. And so what you do is you actually take the right and wrong aspects of what they're doing, maybe justice. And you forego that because you want to maintain this brotherhood uh, and be able to say that you stood up for your brothers. And therefore, you, you're complicit in the wrongdoing. That's not what they're talking about here. This is more really about what Jesus did. But I've, I've heard people just take that statement to lay down one's life for one's friends and, and use it out of context, I believe. My opinion. Love you. God bless.